the Concordia Food Coalition. Because why should students settle for an expensive multinational food provider that only meets their minimum requirements when they could run it themselves and provide affordable food within a socially and environmentally conscious framework? Right now, the majority of the food system at Concordia is controlled by one company that holds an exclusivity contract which serves food that is not only much more expensive than it should be, but that's produced in ways that are less desirable than they need to be. This cycle of outsourcing food at Concordia to multinationals that are removed from the day-to-day -day realities of student life, whether it be to Sodexo, Armark, or Chartwells, is a choice made by the university community and not a requirement. As students, we can do better. One of the major problems with the current norm is that it sources its food from thousands of miles away on the other side of the globe. This not only needlessly removes money from the local economy, but also increases Concordia's carbon footprint. Much of the food is grown on monocrop industrial farms, which rely heavily on chemical pesticides and herbicide to grow genetically modified crops. Not only that, but the meat and dairy products tend to come from inhumane feedlots and meat processing plants, which often use unhealthy, dangerous, and at best, questionable practices. Also, the prevailing multinational corporate model relies on the constant exploitation of workers in the global south. And if we turn to our own backyard, we'll see that we have the same problems related to migrant exploitation here in the province of Quebec. The current contract forces students that want to live on residence to buy an expensive meal plan without the possibility of opting out or using their meal plan money elsewhere, like at a student-run cafe or restaurant that are more suited to their specific dietary needs. This is because the food system is specifically organized not to serve the interests of students as stakeholders, but to directly serve the interests of the investors as shareholders. The Concordia Food Coalition is working to reverse this. Student initiatives would prioritize accessibility by providing affordable vegetarian, vegan-friendly and gluten-free options, as well as kosher and halal foods. These spaces would also feature locally sourced food from as close to the Montreal area as possible. Given the opportunity, students are more likely to source their food from organic farms with environmentally friendly practices. Our cooperative model will provide living wages for students and community members alike, while working with farms that provide fair and dignified conditions for their workers. We have to start building the world we'd like to see, and Concordia University is a big part of this world. This is what we, as the Concordia Food Coalition, mean when we say that we can do better. Some of our projects include working with the CSU to build the Hive Co-op Cafe at Loyola, and pursuing new student-run cafes on the downtown campus. Ultimately, we want at least one of the two cafeterias and multiple cafes to be student-run within the not-so-distant future. Another one of our large projects is negotiating with the university to redraw the entire contract, making it much more favorable towards students and student-run food providers. As students, we have the opportunity to work together and stand up for what we believe in and finally redesign the way we feed our campus. If we build a strong alternative at Concordia, other universities can copy our model and help it spread across Canada. But it starts with us, and it's happening right now. Kickstart the food movement, join the Concordia Food Coalition, and let's change what's on our plates.